Alberta's Auditor General released his report on Alison Redford today. <clears throat> Excuse me, the one that was requested by Redford herself as she left the Premier's office in the midst of scandal. And what she quit politics altogether over yesterday. In a word, the report is scathing. It concludes that Redford and her staff used public resources inappropriately, racking up charges totaling $660,000 on travel, meals and hospitality over 17 months. It also finds Redford used government planes for personal and partisan purposes. And that's not all. Carolyn Dunn has the details for us and the reaction. Carolyn. Well, Peter, Alison Redford requested the report to respond to allegations she was a jet-setting premier. But these 44 pages only cement that image. The report says there was an aura of power around then-premier Alison Redford, so pervasive her office operated as though it was above question, the Auditor General says. The overall conclusion is that uh, Premier Redford and her office used public resources inappropriately. Taking government planes when commercial travel would have been substantially cheaper, using them to go to PC party events or flying her daughter around, sometimes unaccompanied, the Auditor General's office uncovered travel habits that bend or break the rules over and over. This working around uh, rules, this tendency even to ignore rules, is, is to fulfill requests coming from the previous office in ways that avoided leaving the Premier uh, with personal responsibility for those decisions. But her own party is pointing the finger of blame right at her. The Alberta PCs say they had no clue Redford was using government planes to fly to partisan events. While it is important that the party repay these funds, the responsi responsibility for these choices falls directly on our former leader. The Alberta government is promising to fix the issues identified by the Auditor General. It has even called in the RCMP while it tries to contain the scandal to Alison Redford and her team. The Auditor General's report suggests that the trust between all Albertans and that office was violated. But I just think it's uh, I just think it's wrong. The man who managed the Wild Rose Party campaign against Redford is now an unlikely advocate. Tom Flanagan thinks calling in the police is nothing more than a political ploy. The woman has has paid the ultimate political price. Uh, political career is ruined. She's no longer premier. What is to be gained by by talking about criminal charges? Redford left public life yesterday, and Peter, she has stayed well out of the public eye since. Carolyn Dunn in Calgary tonight. Thanks, Carolyn.